Welcome back to BT on a Tuesday, <laughs> 723. You look at the clock to find that Devo out. <laughs> I, I, checked, I, I look at this pillow to check if it's Tuesday. Just what day yeah. it was. None of us know. Each one of us has kind of messed that up today. I uh, guess it's a good thing. I guess it's a good thing. We're yeah. all in the same boat. That's good. <laughs> Camaraderie. Yeah. Uh, before we get to this quickly, mm. I got a little surprise on the way home yesterday. What do you mean? Got on the gardener. Lane closed. Wasn't expecting it on April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. April both Fool's. Yet, both the way. westbound now mirrors. I thought they let it bleed in the middle of the month. Mm. No, no, what? no, no. It's now both oh, directions? Oh, yes. Oh, it oh. is now the full Monty on full both sides. Full Monty? And? How was that? Well, it was a day. There wasn't a ton of people out uh, there yeah, yesterday, yeah, so I don't know how reflective that right. was. Yeah. Right. We'll see. I'll have a better feeling yeah. for it. Today, today, today going home. See how we'll it see. goes. We'll see. Welcome back to the show. Uh, <laughs> this one's pretty interesting. Restaurant here in the GTA no longer accepting tips. Reducing the cost of a meal and raising staff salaries. Uh, check, check, check on all those. Woodhouse Barbecue is the place we're talking about here in North York. Owners wanted to get back to customers who kept businesses going during the pandemic. The restaurant has introduced profit sharing saying that staff would earn the same salary, if not more. They also redirected their marketing budget towards the staff bonuses. Um, a lot of people, obviously, Mayor, have a lot of opinions when it comes to tipping. If you're not going to tip, though, this is kind of textbook 101 how to handle and, and treat a staff properly, right? Sure. I mean, up in that, uh, you know, hourly wage, I, I don't think anybody would have any issue with that, for sure. I mean, the only the only thing I think about, it, I know we've talked about on this show in terms of tipping fatigue and, you know, everyone's sort of strapped at the moment. But I, I got a lot of friends who work in restaurants and the tipping is sort of part of the appeal. You know, I mean, it's kind of why you work at one place as opposed to another place. Mm -hmm. If you're, uh, you know, kind of a, a career server, the, the tipping is uh, very important. I mean, it's part of why you're in that business because you can uh, you can make that cash. So I would think uh, that might actually be maybe a, a deterrent for the staff wanting to work there. I don't know. Yeah, no, I hear that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, like, for me, uh, you know, I look at a restaurant in the finance district. I want to work there because I feel like you know people are writing things off because they can write it off for work or whatever. They might tip a little more. I want to go where it's a hot spot if I'm bartending at night uh, or serving at night. Uh, that's, you know, that's why certain clubs and restaurants in this city are coveted from staff point of view, wanting to work there. Uh, but I also don't mind this. I don't know. I'm torn on this because there is an incentive from the tip to work or provide a better service. Right. And now if that's not the case, is the service going to come down? Um, but I think, you know, as responsible employers, they're going to look and say, hey, you know, we're going to make sure everybody's getting paid well, but there needs to be a standard that we're setting when it comes to service and, and what our, our customers are going to get. So uh, I kind of like it. Nando's, I know, does that. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, you go up to the counter, you purchase everything there. You have an option to tip right there, but that's before you've gotten any service. Um, that there's a tip jar at the end if you want to drop something that's pooled with everybody. So everyone is encouraged to work hard uh, if you are staffed there. So there are different ways of doing it. Uh, but if I'm a server, I'm thinking twice if, if I think I'm excelling at what I do, I'm thinking twice if I'm going to work there because I know if I can get more tips because of the kind of quality that I provide. I, I hear that. Like, there is a, there's a competitive nature to that 100%. business. 100%. Sure. Yeah. But I just, and maybe my my bar is different from others, I've I've rarely come across horrific service in my life in this city. You can, you'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> it's out there. <laughs> but I think for the most part, I've seen fair to very good. Okay. And, and considering that's been what I've seen, a lot of servers get treated like hot garbage Truth. in that industry. If you're going to just be fair right away with your staff like that, I think this is a very positive thing. I think it's a good thing. Again, yeah, you don't want to pull the competitive nature out mm -hmm. of it because the higher red places are looking for the best people, and that's a good thing. But I like the story, I have to say. I like the story because a lot of people work hard and don't get compensated fairly, and I think it's a good thing. Let and you make know. a good point. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's part of like, you know, let maybe each restaurant is different. And you talk to your staff because like, the restaurant is about taking care of their staff yeah. and then the staff take care of the customers. So if you're in a neighborhood or that makes sense for you and your servers, amazing. But if it's a more of a, you know, fast, fast pace, paced, yeah. I, I think don't take away the tip because I think a lot of servers want them. Right. For yeah. sure. Right. I, I see all sides of it. Let us Same. know. Yeah. Feedback at Breakfast Television. Not say this is a fast anyone. Let us know what you think. Tammy's got news coming up here in just a second. Also coming up. This has gone viral. Yes.
and its family who's gone viral. In fact, I said it's exploded. <laughs> Listen. What is this? <laughs> we, we don't want to toot our own horn here. <laughs> but have you heard about Marilyn Smith's fart walk video? <laughs> what? That is all the... You haven't heard of this, Steve? -O? No. Yes. If only Marilyn Smith was in studio. What's that? Coming up at 740. <laughs> Marilyn Smith. Here to talk about a more BT coming up. I was going to say excuse me, but that's maybe what you say after. Yeah. Oh, fart walk. Okay.